For decades, predicting the volatile behavior of wildfires relied on a relatively simple formula. But as climate change throws new variables into the mix, this traditional approach is increasingly falling short. Scientists are now turning to AI to try and predict the unpredictable fury of wildfires, offering a crucial edge in the fight against future blazes. Here's more. Raging wildfires have left a trail of death and destruction. There are concerns that with climate change, such disasters could become more frequent. It seems technology could come in handy. Researchers are using artificial intelligence technology to achieve greater accuracy in predicting the probability of wildfires on a global scale. The European Centre for Medium Range Weather Forecasts, also known as ECMWF, has created a new probability of fire model, which uses machine learning methods to analyze a wider set of data for more precise predictions on wildfire locations. So here we, we present a new method to forecast the fire danger. Um, it uses machine learning method to combine a lot of information um, not only weather, but also fuel in terms of availability and dryness, and most importantly, source of ignitions. So where people live, uh, road access to, to places. This is a substantial uh, advancement on what was done before, because uh, previous method only used weather. Historically, the Fire Weather Index served as the primary methodology for fire forecasting. This involved monitoring of four weather variables, namely temperature, wind, precipitation, and humidity. However, the team behind the new model say the old method comes with certain limitations. So historically for fire forecasting, we use what's called the Fire Weather Index. And this is a uh, simple physics-based model where we use four weather variables, temperature, wind, precipitation, and humidity, to forecast the chance that if a fire does incur, occur, how intense it will be. Um, so what we know from that is that it doesn't account for a lot of things. It doesn't account for fuel, it doesn't account for ignition sources and things like that. ECMWF's approach goes beyond traditional fire danger predictions. Apart from the four weather variables, the new AI model also incorporates crucial elements like fuel, in this case, vegetation and ignition sources during the fire forecasting process. This allows them to assess the probability of fire ignition in specific areas. We incorporate fuel, uh, ignition sources, and also the existing weather that we previously used in the machine learning model to predict not just fire danger, but the probability that a fire might occur in a given location. Uh, this is uh, clearly not uh, an information that is clearly not available for the standard uh, fire weather index. Yeah, yeah. The AI model was recently put to use during the devastating January Los Angeles wildfires. Recent case in Los Angeles where uh, fire really uh, broke out in the wildland wild urban interface. This was really very severe because the previous season were actually characterized by very wet uh, uh, conditions, which uh, created an abundance of fuel that uh, then was uh, burned during the event. And of course, uh, this new method, the probability of fire, having the memory of the, the fuel abundance uh, in their formulation allowed to really identify those regions that could be much more affected compared to simpler method they only consider weather. And this is why our prediction in this case was much more precise and pinpointed exact location when very close to Los Angeles where fire really occurred. AI-powered methods such as these could prove to be a valuable tool for fire prevention agencies, enabling them to more effectively target their resources by offering precise identification of fire risk areas.